Well, we got three of these. One, two, three. Stem cutters for florist. Cut big piles of flowers at one time. And we got a block of wood stalks with three wood stalks. We got a farrow, a bread, and a chef's knife. Saturday. Well, the stem cutters are ready. He's gonna pick them up this afternoon sometime. I'm not sure exactly when, but there they go. All sharp, polished up and cleaned up. Cleaning was the hardest part. I'll get back to you. Well, it's Monday morning about 10. So far, this is the first ticket of the day. But they're coming in, I think. <laughs> Stand by. Might be a good day today. Got three more. Well, I think this is the end of it for today. I don't know what's in here. Let's take a peek. The last of the tickets for today, Monday. Oh, there was a nice shunt hiding in there. And a cut co. I don't know what that is. I can't tell. A little Santuco. Maybe Chicago cutlery or something. And one of these fine tickets. Great balls of fire. Okay, Dougie. I'll see you later. Well, here we got two customers. This is a returning customer from September of 2019. She's got two shuns. Uh, Rikon. I don't know what this one is. I can't tell. Chicago cutlery or something. And a little uh, Cook's Utility Knife Rada. And the second guy, he got a brand new uh, wood splitter. He said, I want it sharp. He said, it's dull. It won't cut. It bounces out of cherry wood. It's only a week old, he said. So I got to sharpen that for him. That's my only two tickets for the day. This guy still had not picked up those wood stalls from the other day. He's supposed to come by tomorrow. I carried all the hunting knives back today. I think I carried everything back today. I did. You know, even the ones I picked up yesterday. Some chicken uh, pot pie and the chicken in the oven. My wife's in New York visiting her grandkids. And we had snow flurries all day. But now it's raining. I'll get back to you. Well, old timers got me, as it does on occasion. Old timers is bad. <laughs> I'm set up, ready to go. However, I'm a week early. I'm not scheduled to be here till next week, next Saturday. Next Saturday. But I got some people coming today. I've been telling people all week I'm going to be here today. I don't know what's going to come of it, but that's what the deal is. Alzheimer's. I mean, old timers. <laughs> I'm going to go over here to the restaurant now to order me an egg sandwich. And I just finished setting up. It got about 10 minutes to order. I'm supposed to be here at 10. It's like 9.45 now. I'll get by. Nobody else in here but me and the milkman. He's the only vendor. I don't know. I see a lady here. She might be setting up. Stand by. You see what I mean? They got a bulletin board inside. <laughs> February 13th, Saturday. I thought it was 16th. That shows the old timers got me again. <laughs>
This is where the restrooms are and everything in the office. Where the restaurant is. Restaurants in there. Pretty nice little spot too. Well, my first customer's got five Wustoffs and two Benchmades. This is like a little dagger. And this is, I don't know what Benchmade calls it, I've never seen one before. But this has no edge on it right here. He wants an edge on the top, like it is on the bottom. No big deal. I'll get back to you. Six pair of scissors and two pair of pinkers. Klondike. The last ticket of the day. Well, on my way home from the market, I got a call from a guy. Lives in this exclusive neighborhood back here called Allington. He said, Max, I got some yard tools I need you to sharpen. I said, okay, I'll be by by 2.15 or so after I leave the farmer's market. Good gracious, you ain't gonna believe it. Hedge trimmers, lopers, pruners, splitting malls. I need a bigger van. Stand by. Pretty rough shape. Portal hits flat. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, I got all the homework done. There's the hedge trimmers, the splitting maul, the splitting wedge, the other splitting maul, pruners, lopers, and I had another guy came by yesterday with another pair of uh, hedge trimmers and a, a small set of pruners. People are getting ready for springtime. It's blowing and raining right now, hard as nasty. Boo. It's a good day for the Super Bowl. As long as you're inside or in Florida. <laughs> it's rough as bricks here, boy, I'm telling you. But I think everybody above me has got tons of snow, which is bad, unless you like snow. I'll get back to you. Well, we was on a holiday yesterday. Today we got three Henkels and one pair of Henkel scissors. And another guy brought us an automatic. Some kind of bell cat or something. I'll have to get a closer picture of it. I don't know what else the day will bring, but we're working on some things.
Well, I had to go pick up my hatches for their weekly exchange. They broke seven out of 10 from last Wednesday to today. They closed Monday and Tuesday. They opened Wednesday through Sunday. These are the new super duper strong hickory handles from Tennessee. I gotta find a better mousetrap. We're going to try some fiberglass ones over the weekend. Cobalt. Well, I got my first set of knives for the day. I haven't looked at them yet. They're in that bag right there. I'm taking the uh, axe heads over to the handle guy now. Get them to put the new handles in them so I'll have them ready if they, if they need it for the weekend. I'll get back to you. Well, let's see what we got in this bag here. We just picked up this afternoon. We got a big chest knife. Premium gourmet. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's a set of these things or three or four of them the same. Yep. A slicer. A para. And another Santuco. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, we got fifteen minutes to go. See, it's uh, not a very pretty day. It's raining and blowing and in the low 40s. And I'm the only person here. I thought a milkman might be here, but as you can see, nobody's here. But the place is open and we're waiting for business. I wouldn't normally come today, but I had a couple people coming that I know about. I don't expect to do much. I got a few, I didn't bring much. I brought a few cleavers. I brought my alphanols and my rotters. And that's all. But it's nice under here, you know, there's no rain and just a little bit of wind. I can shut these doors if I wanted to, but it's, it's not all that bad. I mean, the rain's not coming in on me. So I'll get a cup of coffee from the diner over there and sit back and take it easy. In my truck, that is, where it's warm. <laughs> I'll get back to you. Well, my first customer just showed up. He got an automatic old, I think it's a 9100 or a 9000, I forget what number it is, automatic bench made. And the tip's broken off of it. You gotta put a new tip on it. See if we can figure out what model it is. 9100, 90, I think. Okay. She's all fixed up. New tip. Sharpen, erased and sharpened, ready to go home. There's a guy right there waiting for it. Well, customer room number two is the butcher shop. A couple doors down. Okay, now we got four more tickets. Kitchen knives. Third customer has a gathering of Caffalons. Six of them. Okay. A gathering more. Hinkles. I don't know what this one is. 
but I like it. And a Columbia River with Veth Serrations. Tom Veth. That's a nice ticket. Okay. Well, I got more business than I ever expected today. I got a, a, another a Cafalon and a Cuisinart. And I got a F. Dick, a really nice knife. And a Cook's and a Santuco Chicago Cutlery. How about that? Well, I'm on my way home. Well, actually, I got to drop off some uh, restaurant knives. Then I'm on my way home. I got a text from a guy. I got a text from my best knife customer ever. You'll recognize him when you see him. He says, Max, I dropped off some knives in your box about an hour ago. I said, okay, buddy. He's the best knife customer ever. Well, let's see what's in the box here. You know that bag. You seen these knives, good God. I ain't don't think I ever got this many knives. I don't know what's in it, but it weighs 18 pounds. Still raining, nasty. Stand by, let's get them out of there. He's got some new knives. I never seen these before in four years. I've been sharpening his knives. He must have just bought these. They're like razors. I don't think this one's the only one. It's a little teeny bit dull. That slice paper right through the air, right like you would, like you see on the internet right now. I've never heard of them before. Never seen them before. But I can tell you one thing, they're plenty sharp. I gotta call him and tell him. He put some money in the envelope <laughs> ahead of time, more than needed. <laughs> 